what's going on YouTube it's your boy dollar Mike back at again with another video if you guys are normal subscribers here to the channel then you guys already know the journey that I've been on when it comes to my stock market investing journey I've been doing this for about a year and I would say a year and four months a year and five months now and over that year and a half I've built a portfolio up from zero dollars all the way up to over thirty thousand dollars now and you guys can see all the whole journey the whole backlog and all of my videos I'll have them linked right up there if you want to check them out regardless I've learned a lot over my stock market investing journey and today I'm bringing you guys a video of the top stocks or basically my favorite stocks to go ahead and buy now and hold forever these are the stocks in my portfolio and a couple of my portfolios that basically I'll continue to buy forever because I think these companies are worth it in almost everyone's portfolio it's a space for these stocks in almost everyone's portfolio so let's take a look let's not waste any more time let's jump right into the video if you're new or old you'll like it let's go haven't seen my content before I make videos talking all about personal finance so the investing stuff's cool but I make videos talking about saving money investing your money obviously budgeting credit credit cards anything really relating to money anything relating to personal finance I got your cover right here on the channel so if you're interested in stuff like that make sure you hit a like on this video and check out my other videos as well and also hit that subscribe button to stay locked in every single time I drop a new video now I have about 10 different stocks to go over with you guys in today's video as I mentioned before these are stocks that I think should be in everyone's portfolio you don't have to own every single one of these stocks but one of these stocks should definitely be in your portfolio because i personally believe these are stocks that you buy now and hold forever or just keep continually buy over time to build up your portfolio on these particular stocks alone obviously you can still add other stocks if you want to but these are like the building blocks of a portfolio in my personal opinion so let's start with the first stock on this list today and the first stock on this list today in no particular order is apple Apple, the first trillion dollar company and a true innovator when it comes to the tech space. They're constantly looking for what's best for the consumer as far as their products and services go. And of course, all that changed when they created the iPhone. As of 2021, the iPhone is now entering that 5G age and they've had an amazing revenue quarter with iPhone sales up yet again. Over a 17% year over year increase for iPhone shipments alone. Apple still has plenty of other products and services that sell extremely well, like the Apple Watch, the iPad, the Macs, the whole Mac lineup. Apple Music and more. With $200 billion in cash on hand, who's really gonna stop a company like this? If we take a look at Apple right now, it's sitting at $149.61 a share. If we scroll down, you can see my full position on Apple at 8.10 shares, overall market value of about $1,200, average cost of about $116, with a portfolio diversity of nearly 4%. I definitely plan on buying more Apple as obviously I believe in Apple. I use almost all of their different product lines of products, as well as their services, and I'm up 28% with Apple, and they pay a small dividend as well which is just icing on the cake for me so apple of course i feel like it's a staple of everyone's portfolio no matter if you like apple or not it's good it should be there it's going to be there for me and it's there on my m1 finance portfolio as well as other portfolios where i have it built into an etf so there you go that's the first stock it is apple now if you're already subscribers to the channel and you've been watching my videos for some time now you're already going to know this second stock on the list but for the new people out here that don't know make sure you hit that subscribe button and that like button but if you don't know the second stock on this list i'm going to mention today is tesla now tesla doesn't have to be in everyone's portfolio i understand if you're not a big fan of tesla or elon musk or whatever but personally for me i am a big fan of tesla and elon musk and this stock has done wonders for me and i'm gonna ride with it to this very day people still consider the value of tesla as a car company and nothing more than a car company. That is 100% not true. Tesla is a company that has the opportunity to single-handedly change the world and honestly, in my personal opinion, will change the world. Obviously, Tesla has their cars, so they make money from that. They also have the top-of-the-line battery tech. Their expansive and ever-growing charging network is separate to none when it comes to actually charging their vehicles. They also offer solar energy with their solar panels. They offer autonomy with robo-taxis possibly in the future and with their cars that they have now through the Tesla autopilot system. On top of that, they have energy storage with the tesla powerwall they do ai as well obviously you're going to need ai when it comes to self-driving and possibly making some tesla robots in the future we'll see about that and all this is under elon musk which owns companies like spacex and starlink respectively currently tesla is valued at over 600 billion dollars i'm extremely bullish on tesla for the long term and i don't believe that's going to change anytime soon but when it comes to tesla stock tesla is currently sitting at 707 dollars if we scroll down and look at my position at tesla i own about 4.58 shares of tesla overall market value right now of $3,200. That's about 10% of my portfolio. So one of the largest positions in my portfolio right now, average cost of $534. And I'm overall up about 32% with Tesla currently. On top of that, I made a lot of money off of options. I played on Tesla. I made about $10,000 roughly on options at this point with Tesla. 
and um i don't see it stopping anytime soon i haven't played any options recently but that's in the past here's the future i'm definitely gonna be buying more shares it's no question about it now investing in a company like tesla does pose a little bit more risk to your portfolio because tesla still to this day even though it's in the s p 500 still to this day is pretty volatile as a stock so if you don't want all that risk then the next stock might be a great pick for you and the next stock is Procter & Gamble. Now, Procter & Gamble is here to stabilize your portfolio and provide you with long-term growth through the actual growth of the stock, as well as growth in their dividend, as well as consistent dividend payouts. They own over 60 different household brands like Head & Shoulders, Old Spice, Bounty, Cascade, Dawn, Febreze, Mr. Clean, and the list goes on and on. As I mentioned before, they do pay a dividend and their current dividend yield rate is 2.6%, and they are also a dividend king, meaning they've been paying that dividend for over 50 years. And to be exact, Procter & Gamble has been paying a consistent dividend for over 63 years. They're also currently beating the entire household product industry when it comes to their return on capital, which is 21% compared to the industry average of about 15%, and they're currently valued at over $350 billion. Procter & Gamble is sitting at $143.18 a share right now. Currently, I have about 3.38 shares of them. Overall market value of about $484. Average cost at about $126, and I'm up about 13%. I definitely will be buying more Procter & Gamble. I need more of that in my portfolio. Clearly, you can see it's not even 2% of my portfolio, and it needs to be up there. It needs to be up there because they're a solid growth company. They pay some solid dividends. Um, they'll be around for a long time. They offer so many products. I'm sure you probably have 10 different products in your household right now with Procter & Gamble. So it only makes sense to be invested in a company like this because they'll be around for some time. I don't see them getting toppled anytime soon. The next stock on this list has also been paying a pretty consistent dividend, not as long as Procter & Gamble, but by all means, it's still a solid company in my personal opinion. And this stock, this company has been around for some time and I think they'll always be around and that company is Waste Management. Waste Management provides slow, long-term growth when it comes to an industry leader. They're one of two companies that handle most, if not all of the trash and waste in America. And they also pay a solid dividend and they've been paying that solid dividend for over 15 years now with a compound growth rate of about 6% over the past five years, which is pretty average, but there's nothing wrong with being average in this particular stock. It doesn't offer anything crazy when it comes to extreme growth or a high dividend. Their current dividend is 1.5%, but regardless, waste management, I believe, will be around forever simply because we need someone to take care of the trash. They're currently valued at $64 billion, and I would only buy this on any major dip. So pandemic, that was a huge dip to definitely go ahead and buy it. Um, and other stock market drops that may happen in the future. I currently own some waste management in my M1 Finance portfolio. Right now, they're sitting at $152.39 a share right now. I have about 4.88 shares with an average cost of $112.72 with an overall holding of $744 right now. As I mentioned before, I don't think waste management will make you rich anytime soon, but at the end of the day, I don't see them going anywhere anytime soon either. So definitely that slow growth, buy on those major dips, and I think you'll be all good to go. The next stock on this list is probably one of my favorite companies in the world and that is Microsoft. With Microsoft we have yet another tech behemoth that I'll stand for and continue to buy long term. Microsoft actually just announced a price increase for their Office 365 platform. They also have a cloud version of Windows known as the Windows 365 and they're seeing newfound success with the Xbox brand through the Xbox Game Pass subscription program. Total revenue grew over 6.7 billion dollars or 19 percent year over year and this company still pays a solid dividend at nearly one percent which may seem small but considering the amount of growth that you're going to get for this type of company in my opinion while you're invested into them um, a one percent dividend is just fine with me they also have government contracts with their cloud business known as agile they own bing skype bethesda linkedin and way more valued at over two trillion dollars is near all-time highs yet again so maybe dollar cost average into it in the beginning and then wait for a pullback to load up on Microsoft even more. But overall, I'm gonna be buying Microsoft for a long time. Well, Microsoft is currently sitting at $302.66. That's honestly insane. I have an upcoming activity, which is a dividend on September 9th for Microsoft. And we scroll down even further, you can see my position of 2.4 shares of Microsoft right now. Currently, that is a market value of $749, overall an average cost of $224 when I actually purchase Microsoft or my average cost for those shares. And lastly, I'm up about 35% with what I have right now. Like I said before, Microsoft has been on a tear lately. I mean, this past year, 40% this past year and over the past five years, up over 425%. That's honestly insane. Maybe we'll see a stock split. That'd be crazy. Either way, I will be buying more Microsoft. I don't know if buying at this levels, these levels is really the best thing to do right now, but um, this is insane. $302 a share right now. 
past Microsoft, we have another company that honestly I believe has standed the test of time, and that is Coke. Coke, the everlasting business that everyone knows. Coke's dividend is honestly one of the main reasons I own this stock and many other people own this stock as well. With over 100 years of dividend payments as well as 59 years of consistent dividend increases, why would you not want to own Coke? Of course, people buy Coke for the brand name, but they also own over 200 different brands like Minute Maid, Fanta, Honest Tea, and that's just some of the brands. Literally just some because I just said there's over 200. You could literally have the exact same ingredients in your particular cola and market it as Coke or market it as your own type of Coke, and you can try to walk into a store and sell it like a 7-Eleven or a retailer or any other retailer. It doesn't really matter, and you won't be able to sell it because the Coke's name, the Coke's branding is just there is a staple you're not going to walk into 7-eleven and find some random name cola and it might be the exact same thing as coke it might taste exactly like coke but it's not coke because it doesn't have that coke brand name behind it either way you're not getting away with a coke clone and they're valued at over 244 billion dollars right now coke is sitting at 56 dollars and six cents a share i own about 12.31 shares of coke a market value of about 700 dollars right now average cost of about 47 dollars and overall up about 17 percent with coke I'll definitely be planning on buying more shares of Coke on any dip that I can get. Coke isn't doing too hot right now, but it's not really supposed to. I mean, this is definitely a long-term investment. And like I said before, a lot of people are in Coke for the dividend alone. The current dividend yield for Coke is nearly 3% at 2.97%. The final tech behemoth I'm gonna mention on this channel today is Google. So Google, a company that will definitely be around forever is up over 57% in 2021 alone, simply from YouTube ad growth, as well as basic internet browsing. Of course, Google owns plenty like the Android software platform, they own Nest, they own Fitbit, they own the Pixel line when it comes to cell phones and Waymo to compete in the autonomous space. Of course, you wouldn't be watching this video right now if it wasn't for YouTube, and of course, Google owns YouTube. They also repurchased $12.8 billion in their own stock in the last quarter, which is a solid confirmation for investors to let them know that they're definitely serious about their business, and this is actually up from the last quarter. So they actually bought repurchased more shares this quarter than they did last quarter in their own stock. They're serious. Either way, Google is valued at $1.8 trillion. I also have my Google or Alphabet holdings here on M1 Finance. And as you can see, I don't even hold a whole share because it is over $2,800 a share for a bit of Alphabet stock right now. I own a little bit over a quarter of share right now when I got that at an average share price of $2,060. And right now that's about a market value of $792. Another household name has joined us today, or should I say House of Mouse, because the next stock on the list is Disney. Of course, Disney has lasted the test of time and actually found new ways to pull in revenue after the pandemic began with Disney Plus. Disney Plus or Disney's premier streaming service has over 116 million subscribers. That's a lot of $8 per month. I'm just saying. On the other hand, the Disney parks have been struggling due to the pandemic, and that was one of their main sources of revenue. But of course, Disney Plus is somewhat made up for that. But either way, once those Disney parks open back up and that revenue starts rolling again, then it'll be even more money in Disney's pocket. Disney is, of course, a media giant with ownership of Marvel, Lucasfilm, so Star Wars, ESPN, Pixar, National Geographic, Hulu, 20th Century Fox, and literally so many other different brand names, big company names and everything. Disney has the Infinity Gauntlet and literally the entire consumer media market in the palm of their hand. Snap them. Personally for me, I hope Disney can buy those Spider-Man rights away from Sony, but either way, Disney will be around forever. There's no question about it. Who doesn't know Disney? Yeah, it's that good. Either way, Disney's valued at $321 billion. I've been mentioning Disney stock on this channel for a while now, but right now it's sitting at $178.40. I honestly think it's extremely undervalued right now and definitely think it's a great time to buy, but that's just my personal opinion. Either way, it could go down a little more, but if it goes down more, I'm going to be buying more. On my position, I have about 2.55 shares of Disney, overall up about 25%, with an average cost of $142. I'll definitely be buying more. I only own about $500 worth of Disney. That's going to change very soon. Now, that's eight different forever investments that you can go ahead and take a look at if you're interested in. And the last two on this list, they aren't actually one particular stock. It's actually the entire stock market as a whole and the entire S&P 500, which is the top 500 companies in the US. So yes, I'm talking about ticker symbol VTI and ticker symbol VOO. Well, if you don't wish to go around searching for the next best thing, or even be invested in the stocks I mentioned today, or even invest in the stocks I mentioned today, and still go ahead and pick up some other stocks in the market, then you might want to just go ahead and invest your money into VTI, which is the total stock market. When you go ahead and invest your money in VTI, you're investing your money in every single stock on the stock market. It's that simple. It's very straightforward. It puts it into an 
average cost for you of $231.30. And we go and look at the five year chart over 100% over the past five years. This is actually one of the safest ways to invest. It's not the fastest way to get, you know, a lot of profit long term, but long, long term, like 40, 50, 60 years, you'll definitely be just fine. If you wish to narrow it down just a bit, you can also do ticker symbol VOO, which is the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. This is the same exact thing sitting at $411 a share right now. The only difference here is that this is the top 500 companies inside the US right now. So the top 500 stocks that you can be invested in in the US right now puts it all into one single stock. And there you go, the Vanguard S&P 500. So there you go. That's 10 different stocks that I 100% believe that I'll be invested in long term. If not the whole market, then definitely any of those stocks that I already mentioned before, definitely invested in long term, definitely invested in forever. And it's just that simple. I also had two honorable mentions that I just want to bring up real quick, and that is Amazon. Of course, Amazon, everyone knows Amazon's great. I just don't really have that much of a position on Amazon, so I didn't mention it in today's video, but you guys already know Amazon's a great stock. It's Amazon. Come on, it's not going anywhere anytime soon, from my personal opinion. But like I mentioned before, I don't really have a position on Amazon, but I just wanted to mention it. And lastly, Facebook is the same way. I have a very, very small position on Amazon and Facebook, so I didn't bother mentioning either one today. But they're both great picks if you want to go ahead and do some research on either one as well. So there you guys go. That is the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to see more content like this. Make sure you check the links down below because the links down below will get you some free stocks if you want to sign up for Robinhood, Webull, any place to go ahead and buy free stocks and basically invest start your investing journey you can do that with the link down below you'll get free stocks you can also get some free cryptocurrency with those links down below and free money back in gas on top of that if you want to support the channel even further you can go ahead and check out my patreon i'll have more tiers coming soon but for right now there's only one tier but if you want to support the channel thank you very much i do really appreciate it and lastly check out my free discord link down below we talk about everything personal finance in there so if you're interested in something like that as well there you go past that this merch this t-shirt right here it's gonna be for sale very soon so make sure you're locked in i'll probably drop a link on this video and obviously all future videos when it's actually available but if you're interested there you go investor t let people know let the world know what you are you're an investor you're an investor now so definitely go get your portfolio started if you already haven't if your portfolio is already started let me know down in the comment section below where you at right now that's pretty much it though thank you guys for watching as always i really do appreciate it i'm out take care of yourself stay hydrated stay safe dollar mike Peace.